Popcorn and Bang, please. <clears throat> Don't forget to like, hit like, subscribe, and hit the notification bar to get notified when we release a new episode. Dalton, how are you doing today? Trey, I'm doing great. How about you? I'm doing good. Okay, so y'all are all of a sudden wanting to be nice to one another, and you're not even going to ask me how I'm doing? I mean, y'all should, because I'm senior executive producer of this show, and I control y'all's pay. Okay, how are you doing, Austin? Yeah, man, how are you doing? Thanks for asking, y'all. I ain't never been better. That's good. Why are you in such a good mood? Well, prom is Saturday, and I gotta get all fancy. So, well, I guess it's that time to hit the go for school news. Congratulations to Ms. Parker for getting the Leo W. Steele Innovative Teacher Award. Congrats to Ms. Bell for becoming National Board Certified. Shout out to Ms. Bonilla, College and Career Readiness Class, for their community service project. We really appreciate how hard they worked on cleaning up the campus. Congrats to Mr. and Ms. VHS, the Connor Mallet, and Steve Nixon. Don't forget to show up for the blood drive on April the 1st. Need an appointment and a permission slip. And finally, we are finally getting out for spring break. Woo! Oh! Y'all, I'm so ready for prom. I'm happy for you. Yeah, same here. I just can't can't believe here in a couple of weeks y'all won't be here. Y'all are growing up so fast. It's just a matter of time y'all gonna be out of the world. Making families of y'all's own. And having kids in these barns to teach. Okay, Dad. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's get on the suit spot where the father comes out in Austin. Program. I'd say six. Six out of ten. Become a radiologist and work for my home on my couch in a big mansion. Hoping. My wife and kids. <laughs> and Stella. My <laughs> That's all, folks. Thank you for that wonderful student spotlight. Yes, that was a fantastic student spotlight. Do you know what also will be fantastic? <laughs> what, you're singing? Because <laughs> you suck at singing? <laughs> I really don't want to admit it, but it was, it was kind of good, I guess. I wasn't talking about my singing, even though my singing is quite astounding. Astounding. Bewildering. Bewildering. Breathtaking. Breathtaking. Astounding. Astounding. Fascinating. Fascinating. Angelic. Angelic. Cherubic. Cherubic. On me. What? But I was actually talking about teacher spotlight with whoever Haya is interviewing. Hiya, and welcome to another full, wonderful episode with Teacher Spotlight with me and not Austin. Hiya, I'm here. Get away. Oh, I think I'm gonna over here. Anyways, for this week's Teacher Spotlight, get out! This week's Teacher Spotlight, I'll be interviewing our very own Miss Holmes, and if you don't knock it off, I'm going to be like to shout out to Miss Brown for winning Teacher of the Year. How does it feel about being Administrator of the Year? Well, I mean, it's exciting because I really like what I do. I love my job. Um, I definitely don't do it for the credit. I do it for the, um, I like to come and see the end result of the students and, um, you know, the, the starting point and then what happens in the end 
it's just, you know, very rewarding to see how um, students achieve and kind of where they end up in their future. What inspired you to become a principal? Well, actually one of my former principals encouraged me to be a principal. I was coaching basketball and he um, set me down one day and asked me had I ever thought about being an administrator and told me that he had watched me um, in the classroom and watched me on the basketball court and thought that I would make an excellent administrator and I had never thought about it before that and so he kind of mentored me and we looked into it together and um, here I am. What is the hardest thing about being a principal? The hardest thing about being a principal is probably um, managing um, adults. What goal do you have as Van Cleve High School's principal? Obviously my goal is for us to be the number one high school in the state. Um, we definitely have the students and teachers here to do it. We have fabulous students and um, we, we have the most amazing teachers. And, I think that if we continue to work as hard as we've been working, that, that we can definitely get there. If, if we're not number one, we're definitely, we can shoot to be the top five. Back to the anchors. Bye. Go. <laughs> Thank you, Haya. Stop calling me Haya. Y'all, I'm so ready for my trip. Dude, you're like leaving next Friday. Yeah, what are you gonna get us? I'm not buying y'all anything, but I'm going to the Opry show and watching Ricky Skaggs. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea who that is. Yeah, me either. Um, yeah, who, who is he? Well, y'all are telling me y'all have no idea who that is. Yeah, I don't know who Ricky yeah, Skaggy is. That, that's exactly well, y'all about to listen to him while we cut the show right on over to Mrs. Marsh. <laughs> the sports. Welcome to Mrs. Marsh for the sports. I'm Mush. I'm Trey. Baseball win won 10 0 over Oak Grove. Carson Roth didn't allow any hits and he had 10 strikeouts. Manny Seymour had 3 hits. Devin Nicholson, Christian Kell, and Max Miller had 2 hits. Miller also had 4 RBIs. Junior varsity softball beat George County 12 to 3 and Brooklyn Roads hit a home run. Varsity also played and won 10 0 with Bryn Daugherty having 11 strikeouts and a home run. In powerlifting, Austin Robertson placed first. Hayden Simon and Damian Poirier placed second, John Peterson placed third, and Hunter Waltman placed fourth. Now back, back to the anchors. Thanks, y'all. You, you, I, you, I, you, I, 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 whoa, whoa. Thanks, y'all. I think you just get some sport. Yeah. Hey, Trey, yeah. do you uh, go listen to Ricky Skaggy while uh, all, your, all the marsh, marsh pit was going on? No. I was anchoring it, so I couldn't listen to it. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. Well, y'all can go listen to it while we cut the tech time. Welcome back to History of Tech. This week, we're not going to be having a normal segment. We're going to be doing Battle of the Historians with Tech versus Mr. Roush. Let's get to it. Student. Teacher. Battle of the Historians! First question, world history question. What month was Russia's Red October Revolution? November. Wow. Which Civil War battle had the most casualties in any single day fight? Antietam. Well, we got said at the same time, and that's right. So. Come on! Come on! Next okay. question. <laughs> what was the largest continuous empire in history? China. The Mongol Empire. That's right. Can you what does the D and D Day stand for? It actually stands for day. 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 And if it was D plus one, that would be the day after D Day or D minus one. It just indicated what day that the invasion was going to take place. Which pharaoh led the construction of the pyramids of Giza? I don't care about Egyptian history. It's not cool like U.S. history. Call me the fifth. Nope. <laughs> They're not around today, so it doesn't matter. America's the best, right, Manny? Yeah. When was the first U.S. dollar printed? Uh, what, 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 what era of dollars? Are we talking about Federal Reserve dollars? That would be 1913. Are we talking about paper currency? It'd be during the Revolution, and it was tobacco. Yeah. That, there's multiple different. There's silver certificates. Yeah. yeah. Wait, that's not. It just says the first U.S. dollar. What did Google say? 1862. 
What was the shortest war in history? This, the, um... Some Australian war was like 15 minutes right under a bucket. That, that was not Australia, that was Italy. New Zealand? Okay. That was Italy, the war of the bucket. What's a... Who was the first president to declare war? Uh... John Adams? Thomas Jefferson? Nope. Uh... Abraham Lincoln? No. I would say probably. Hold on, wait. Uh, James Madison. James Madison. Yes, and that was the War of 1812. Appreciate it, guys. Student wins. Okay, thanks, Tech. Trey, do you know the last thing my grandfather said to me before he kicked the bucket? No, what did he say? Great shot, watch how far I can kick this bucket! <laughs> <laughs> Lord, I guess me every single time. You know, let's cut on over to the birthday boy, Dylan and Jesse, with Joke of the Week. And then the viral video. Yeah. What do you call. What did the nurse say to the finger? Um, uh, Quick, picking on me. <laughs> new guys are blowing up her phone yeah she loves the way that that feels you never known she was going through a breakup there ain't a single tear messing up her makeup he thought she'd be sitting home crying she ain't going out like that she's had enough of feeling like dying she ain't going out like that Everybody, here comes the life of the party. Yes, she is. He might have left her broken hearted, but she ain't going, going out like that. She's got her hands up, dancing like the floor's on fire. Yes, she's the hottest thing in here. Yes, she finally got tired of being sick and tired. Now she's looking like she don't care. She was hurting, well, she must have forgot. Cause she's smiling while she's throwing back shots. He thought she'd be sitting home crying. She ain't going out like that. She's had enough of feeling like dying. She ain't going out like that. Everybody, here comes the life of the party. Yes, she is. He might have left her broken hearted, but she ain't going, going out like that. He thought you'd be sitting home crying. She ain't going out like that. She's had enough of feeling like dying. She ain't going out like that. Everybody, here comes the life of the party. He thought you'd be sitting home crying, but she ain't going. Going out like that. We're going out like that. Everybody, here comes the life of the party. Everybody. Here comes the life of the party. Yes, she is. 
Oh, this was a good episode of WVHS. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. And you know what, guys? I bet the next one will be even better because we can talk about how well prom was. True. So I think it's time to take this show on right on out the door. And don't forget, an adventure awaits. <laughs>